Juan Pierre and Alejandro de Aza working on their new handshake. White Sox looking for their fifth straight win at home Tuesday night against the Twins. Top four, Zach Stewart on the hill, scoreless at this point. Jason Kubel standing in with two on, and guess what, folks? We're not tied anymore. Kubel is 11th home run of the season. Three-run shot, Twins on top, 3-0. Bottom four, De Aza standing in against Anthony Swarzak, and he's up there with two on, looking to do a little damage. The ball hit hard. Stretch, catch, it will, you can. Put it on the board. Yeah. Yeah. Number three for De Aza in this game is tied at three. Mercy. Deaza setting off the fireworks. Top five, Joe Maurer with second and third against Stewart. He delivers a two-run double up the right center field alley. Twins back on top, leading 5-3. They would add one more in the inning to take a three-run lead. Bottom five, White Sox with a run across to make it 6-4. Later in the inning, Deaza stands in with the bases full. Down ball. Throw the second, throws it away. That's going to score a pair, and this game is tied at six. Yeah, yeah. White Sox fans working on their high fives later in the inning. Gordon Beckham drilled with the bases full. That brings in the runner from third. And the White Sox on top, 7-6. Later in the inning, Juan Pierre delivering. RBI base hit down the left field line. That scores Deaza. Five runs across in the inning. White Sox up, 8-6. Tyler Flowers thrown out at the plate. Ninth inning, Sergio Santos looking to put a W in the win column. He strikes out Trevor Pluth. Ball game over. White Sox win their fifth in a row, 8-6 the final. Deaza with a career-high four RBIs in the win. White Sox bullpen outstanding in this one. Four and a third of no-hit, no-run baseball. Santos the save is 28th on the season.